action moment. <laughs> welcoming here this evening and being able to come back to Barter, Columbia, and this area. And, um, the wonderful thing about this is to stand here and to see all of these excited, interesting, intelligent women. Uh, when I was growing up in the film business, I never saw a woman's face. Sometimes it was a lady who played my mom, or uh, occasionally it would be a makeup artist, but most often uh, it would really just be me and the strip supervisor. And uh, little by little, as time went on, uh, a few female faces started coming onto cruise, and it changed everything. Um, suddenly, all of these men who were my fathers and brothers who were teaching me things like uh, how to put focus or how to whittle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they taught me how to whittle with pieces of wood. Um, or taught me to hang up my clothes every day after I finished work. Uh, or who taught me to um, write thank you notes. You know, uh, those, those men, really, those, those fathers and brothers, little by little, uh, women came into their world, and, uh, and suddenly uh, the family was a, a more realistic family, a uh, movie set in it. Um, now, that extended into executives. Uh, suddenly there was Sherry Lansing and uh, people like Rose Eskin uh, and Pascal. Uh, Don Steele, who was also no longer with us. Um, really great women who <coughs> could be at the forefront of helping women, how they change the industry. Um, and there I was, a young girl wanting to be a director and never seeing a female director's face. I thought it was something women couldn't do that I would never be allowed to do. Um, and then uh, I was, I don't remember what age I was, my mom took me to a, a film festival and it was the Lena Miller Film Festival. And we sat uh, and watched like four movies back to back. We watched uh, Seduction of Me and uh, Love and Anarchy, Sleeping Beauty, and um, uh, the Maya Angelou and Alonzo movie where they're on the island. Can't swept away. Um, and I, I sort of, you know, was okay and realized that, um, that I could be a woman director if I wanted to because there was one out there. Uh, and that was a life changing moment for me. And uh, I, I hope that. Um, that um, there are great filmmakers out there. I know there's Casey Remins I saw, and uh, my friend Lisa Jackson as well, who's here, documentarian, and, and we've all come up in this business uh, through other avenues. And uh, here we are, uh, being able to look to Jane Campion and, and to Catherine Bigelow and uh, Sophia Coppola and say, like, wow, we have peers, we have friends, and we have people, we have people who want to tell stories that reflect our lives. Um, there aren't enough women directors, and hopefully that will change. And perhaps that will change with this next generation of, of Barnard students um, who are learning from you and uh, who you will, I am really here to honor uh, as well. Um, thank you so much for this day. And, uh, well, I, I really have a movie to see, and um, I, I'm excited for you to see the movie because it's really what we're here for not just to honor women, but to honor humans who happen to be women who love movies. Uh, so, um, Thank you very much for this